outdoors. Now, a pool is a great place to be. Air conditioning, Kevin, even better. Yes, and hopefully you're staying well hydrated as well. And you have to really think about all the construction workers that are out there. Some of the Rumkey folks as well. I mean, right. it's just not that type of weather you want to mess around with. And it's not that we haven't been this hot before. It's just the combination of the heat and humidity. I think sometimes people forget that, you know, you're not quite as acclimated because we haven't been this hot in quite a while in a handful of years around here. So let's get over to your Friday morning forecast. It's going to be a sultry start. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s as you walk out the door and you will be greeted with lots of sunshine. It will be a very humid start to the day as we get into the afternoon. Well, it turns dangerously hot out there for us. 94 is what we're forecasted as the high, but it will easily feel like it's between 105 and 110 with that steamy sunshine in the afternoon. And as we head into the evening, as the headline says there, little relief. Temperatures may finally drop below 90 as we get later into the evening hours, but it's still going to feel like it's around 100 probably through about 8 o'clock for most areas, so still dangerously hot out there even during the evening hours. Today we lucked out because we were right on the periphery of the hot dome of air. In fact, the thunderstorms that went up blew up right over us, and you can see they were basically right on the edge of the heat dome that's going to become more entrenched across the Ohio Valley starting tomorrow and into Saturday. We'll have to wait till Sunday when a cold front in the upper Midwest eventually begins to squash this dome of hot air and breaks the back of the heat wave. So here we go. It's about a three or four day heat wave we're facing right now, and that means temperatures in the mid 90s Friday and Saturday. I think Saturday is the worst. Sunday's not going to be much better. The only relief for Sunday is the fact that I think showers and storms will get in here in the evening. Obviously, some of those are going to be strong given the amount of the magnitude of the heat and humidity that that cold front will be bumping into. And then you get a little sneak peek at what's going to be very refreshing relief after this heat wave. So we've got the excessive heat warning out for the entire area early afternoon into the evening. Anytime from about 11 through 8 in the evening is when the heat will be the very worst. And again, the problem is with heat, it has a cumulative effect on the body. And if you're doing anything strenuous outside, you'll want to limit the amount of time you spend outdoors doing that. And please again, continue to check on neighbors, especially in the urban areas, because that's where the relief will be the, the least. I mean, it's going to be very hot. It could easily feel like it's still 90 degrees or hotter even around midnight to 1 a.m. and this type of heat wave that we're going to be experiencing. So again, make sure you stay well hydrated and you have at least hopefully some access to air conditioning. Here's your feels like planner throughout the day. Again, around 11 a.m. It's going to be uncomfortable out and around noon already dangerously hot through the afternoon and into the evening hours, but we aren't the only ones. I want to show you the map here. Everything in bright pink or kind of purple basically represents excessive heat warnings. So nearly everyone in the Midwest through the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes from the Rockies all the way to the big cities of the East Coast are dealing with this heat wave. So we are not the only ones that are going to be sweating it out through the upcoming weekend. And part of the story I keep talking about is the humidity and a good way to check that is on the dew point. So low 70s, that's what you're feeling outside right now. It's pretty uncomfortable, kind of yucky, right? Look at these dew points approaching 80 out across parts of Illinois. You combine that with temperatures in the mid 90s, it will feel like a sauna the next couple of days. So outside here tonight, 78 degrees. Not that it's that much more comfortable now around the most of the area. Generally in the 70s, you're still and you can see here in the 80s in southeast Indiana where they were underneath that hot dome today and didn't see any rainfall. Check futurecast. You'll see with that dome of hot air building in, we've squashed any showers or storms that are going to try to fire up during the day. I guess there could be a rogue downpour somewhere that goes up in a more rural area, but for the most part, most of us are going to be dry tomorrow and Saturday. And again, the next opportunity for real widespread substantial rains, not until Sunday afternoon and evening. So things have already quieted down. We're good for the rest of the night. Mostly clear and humid 74 for a low tomorrow. Hot sunshine, obviously feeling like it's 105 to 110. A weather impact day for us tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast and there you have it. I mentioned Sunday's going to be equally as hot, but on Sunday afternoon and evening we will probably get some strong to severe storms. So just keep that in mind. But look at the refreshing. It will be equally as comfortable next week as it is uncomfortable heading into the weekend. Again, can't be 80s and overnight lows in the upper 50s and 60s by Monday and Tuesday. All right, rarely looking forward to.